Hello friends. In this chat application tutorial part, we will learn how to can we store chat message in MySQL database by using PHP with Ratchet WebSocket. In previous part, we have learned how to send and receive chat message, but that chat will be removed when we have refresh part. So now in this part, when sender has send message, then we will store that chat message in MySQL database, and that chat we can display in chat history. Now let's start discussing this topic. So for save chat message, here we have already create one chat room table, with table column like, chat ID, user ID, message and created on table column, so under this table, we will store chat message data. After this, for process chat message data, and store under MySQL database, here in database folder, we want to create chat room class. So in database folder, we have open chat room.php file, and for create chat room class, here we have write class statement, with chat room class name. Under this class, first we have create five variable like private dollar chat ID, private user ID, private dollar message variable, private dollar created on variable and protected dollar connect variable. Next, we want to make set and get function for this four variable. First, we want to set the value of chat ID variable. So here we have write set chat ID function with dollar chat ID as argument. Under this function, we have write dollar this chat ID variable is equal to dollar chat ID variable. So here we have store argument value under this dollar this chat ID variable. After this, we want to get the value of this dollar chat ID variable. So here we have make get chat ID function. And under this function, we have write return statement with dollar this with chat ID variable. So this function will return chat ID variable value. After this, we want to set the value of user ID variable. So here we have write set user ID function with dollar user ID as argument. Under this function, we have write dollar this user ID variable is equal to dollar user ID variable. So here we have store argument value under this dollar this user ID variable. After this, we want to get the value of this dollar user id variable so here we have make get user id function and under this function we have write return statement with dollar this with user id variable so this function will return dollar user id variable value same way we want to set the value of dollar message variable so here we have write set message function with dollar message as argument Under this function, we have write dollar this message variable is equal to dollar message variable. So here we have store argument value under this dollar this message variable. After this, we want to get the value of this dollar message variable. So here we have make get message function. And under this function, we have write return statement with dollar this with message variable. So this function will return dollar message variable value. And lastly, we want to set the value of created on variable. So here we have write set created on function with dollar created on as argument. Under this function, we have write 
dollar this created on variable is equal to dollar created on variable so here we have store argument value under this dollar this created on variable after this we want to get the value of this dollar created on variable so here we have make get created on function and under this function we have write return statement with dollar this with created on variable so this function will return dollar created on variable value next for make database connection here we have write public function construct function so this function will be executed when new object of this class has been created under this function we have write require once statement and under this we have write database connection dot php so by using this code we can use this class method under this function below this we have write database object variable is equal to new database connection class so here we have created object of this database connection class after this we have write dollar this connect variable equal to dollar database object with connect method so this method will make database connection now we have go to chat.php file and here we want to add chat room class under this chat class so for this we want to include chat room class under this chat.php class so here we have write require statement with directory name function and under this we have write two time underscore with dir and again two time underscore this code will return path of this chat application root directory after this we have write slash database folder name slash chat rooms dot php class so by using this statement we can use the method of this chat rooms class under this chat class for use this chat rooms class method here we want to create object of this class so here we have write dollar chat object is equal to new chat room class now we want to set the value of user id variable under this chat room class so here we have write dollar chat object with set user id method and under this we have write dollar data user id variable after this we want to set the value of message variable so here we have write dollar chat object with set message method and under this we have write dollar data message variable next we want to set the value of current date and time so here we have write dollar chat object with set created on method and under this we have write date function and under this we have write date time format so this way we have set the all variable value under this chat room class now we want to insert chat data in mysql chat room class so here we have write dollar chat object with save chat method this method will save chat data in chat room table now we have go to chat rooms class and here we have make save chat function this function will insert chat data in chat rooms table under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into chat rooms table with table column like user id message and created on with values get from double colon user id double colon message and double created on below this insert query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare statement under this 
we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution now we want to bind value with local variable so here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument in first argument we have write double colon user id and in second argument we have write dollar this user id variable below this we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument and in first argument we have write double colon message and in second argument we have write dollar this message variable and lastly we want to bind value of created on variable so here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument in first argument we have write double colon created on and in second argument we have write dollar this created on now we want to execute insert query so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method so this method will execute insert query and it will insert data into mysql table next we have go to chat.php file so here when chat message has been insert into mysql table then it will send chat message to other connected client so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we want to start server so we have go to command prompt and then after we have go to our chat application working directory after going to our chat application working directory here we have write php with bin folder name slash server.php so it will start server after starting of server here we have already login under this chat application now we have type something in chat text area field and after this we have click on submit function after submit of chat here in other user chat room we can see chat message has been display in other user chat room area in real time now we have go to mysql table and here we have refreshed this table page after refresh of web page here we can see chat message has been inserted into chat rooms table successfully so this way when user chat under chat room then that chat data will be stored under chat rooms table if chat message has been stored under this chat rooms table then later we can fetch data from database and display as chat history so friends in this part we have learned how can we store chat messages under mysql database under this ratchet web socket library chat application using php script in next part we will learn how to display chat messages from chat room table and we will display on web page so here we have stopped this video and we will be meet in next video and lastly thank you for watching this video.